Over the past five years, I've had the opportunity to start four different businesses, work with three different startups, and be a part of an accelerator program in Silicon Valley. Now, out of all of these businesses, three have failed. But I can tell you that I learned more from these failures than any successful thing that I've ever done. See, one of the things that I realized is that true knowledge is gained by making mistakes. And that's how we go through life. We make mistakes and we learn. Now, learning as you go along is something that is fundamentally in a startup's DNA. If you ask any person who has started a business, and they will tell you they didn't know what they were doing 99% of the time. But they learned the right way to do things by figuring out what didn't work and then focusing on what did. Now, the principles that startups rely on allow them to innovate and change the world faster than anything else on the planet. And that's what I believe schools are trying to teach students how to do, how to innovate and change the world. So why does an education incorporate some of the basic principles of a startup? Think about it. One of the fundamental rules of a startup is learn from your mistakes. But currently, our educational system is set up to punish our mistakes rather than to teach us to learn from them. Today, if a student receives a bad grade on a test, there's no real time to figure out what went wrong. It's just accept the grade, move on to the next chapter. But what if, after every test, a student was given the opportunity to go back and relearn the material, figure out what they did wrong, and then given the exact same test a week later? You can even change the questions if you want to. The student would do much better. That's because the student was able to figure out what they did wrong based on the real-time feedback. It wasn't just the regurgitation of information. It was true learning. Now, schools today love focusing on memorization, but I'm pretty sure almost everyone here can agree that memorization and test-taking don't equal intelligence. I've met many 4.0 students in computer science around the country that cannot program to save their life. I've met people who graduated top of their class who are extremely lacking when it comes to common sense. And I've seen resumes for people with great theoretical knowledge and high GPAs that apply for jobs at our companies, and we don't hire them. It's because in a startup, you need someone who can hit the ground running and get the job done. A startup with its limited resources is not gonna take a chance on somebody just because of a GPA. They will only take a chance on the ones that they know can get the job done. And that should be the true measure of a student upon graduation. Can you, with the knowledge and skills you've obtained, go out and get the job done at a company that's relying on you to keep them from failing? It's a tough question that I believe many students are not prepared to answer. Now, if we look more at the foundation principles of a startup, we can see some of the flaws in our educational system. Think about this. Some of the two main things that determine whether a startup lives or dies is the foundation it creates, and funding. Now, if we look at our current educational system, many of our grade schools are considerably underfunded, and many of our teachers are barely making enough to get by. Not only that, but we all have that teacher that we remember that we just hated as kids, or even other ones that were just bad teachers. We are creating a horrible foundation for our kids in an underfunded environment. If this were a startup, it would fail. Now, looking a little bit further into the foundation that we've created in education, we can see more flaws. Take high schools, for example. High schools have become four years of preparing you for college. But you know what would have helped me a little bit more than reading of Mice and Men for the third time? A class on doing your taxes. Simple things that most students have no idea how to do. Many of them can tell you how to do an MLA-style citation, but I don't remember the last time anybody got a job because of that. We need to start focusing and investing on what is taught in schools, because high school should be for learning, not just four years of college prep. We're currently creating a society of professional test takers, and that's not what any business is looking for. Now, there are some principles and rules in startups that I believe we should be teaching students while they're in college. Doing so would make sure that these students are prepared for any job that they want to go into after college. Now, some of these rules are as followed. Networking. Most students today don't understand how important networking really is. In fact, you put many students into a room with people they don't know, they kind of shy away. We need to start teaching our students how important networking is, because you don't know when you could be talking to somebody that knows your next boss. Now, this next piece of advice is honestly the best 
advice I've ever gotten in my life. A great guy once told me that the smart man learns from his mistakes, but the wise man learns from the mistakes of others. And it's honestly one of the best pieces of advice I've ever gotten. Learn from your mistakes. Always find the positive. But if you can skip a mistake by learning from someone else that's made it, you will be better off for it. Don't be afraid to fail. Our entire lives we are told that we shouldn't fail, that we should fear failure. You know, don't fail that quiz. Don't fail that test. Don't fail this or you can't get into a great college. But the truth is, when you fail and find the good in it, that's when innovation happens. If you're afraid to fail, you're afraid to innovate. Build a solid foundation for everything that you do. It doesn't matter whether you're starting a business, starting college, going to class, or even starting a family. Build a solid foundation for everything that you do, and you'll be able to grow it as far as you want it. And last but not least, don't wait for somebody to teach you. Just go out and do it. Many students have this mindset that when they're going to go to college, they're going to learn everything that they need to know, and they're going to go and get a great job. But the reality of it is that you're going to get a basic theoretical knowledge in college, and it's up to you to apply this knowledge and learn the skills that you need. Don't be afraid to do anything. Just go and do it, because I guarantee you, you can. Now, imagine if we focused on teaching students these rules and principles while they're in college. We would truly have a well-rounded person ready to take on and innovate the world. And that's what I believe schools were meant to do. Thank you.